there are some magical moments. Even the bright and sparkly personality of Freddy's in Arlington. It's a fun, fabulous place. Can't seem to outshine a shadow over similar businesses in the LGBTQ plus community this week. It's a shame that we can't just live and let live. The mass shooting at a gay nightclub in Colorado that killed at least five people and injured 25 others might have been hundreds of miles away. But the rippling effect has owner Freddie Lutz worried about copycats. I worry about this location and other bars around the country. Lutz says Arlington police have already reached out to show support. Much like what happened after the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando, he's setting up another mass shooting training for his staff. We've all got to stay positive through all this crap. We're targets. You know, we always have been. In D.C., John Guggenmos is getting ready to review and upgrade safety plans with his employees. He's the owner of the popular Gay Bars Trade and Number 9 and board chair of the D.C. Nightlife Council. We need to examine exactly what our plans are and being flexible on what those plans are because the best laid plans that you have you need backups for. At a time when the community feels under attack, leaders are encouraging members to lean into community and be diligent. One person who really wants to do harm is always going to find a way. However, I do believe that our staff is, is aware that they are on their toes. Really the best that you can do, but we cannot live in fear. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.